This presentation will detail and demonstrate how to create and use a ProTreat property package within another Cape Open capable simulator. The two examples shown here will be Unisim and HTRI. Optimized Gas Treating, or OGT, was founded in 1992 by Ralph Weiland and Jack Dingman with the purpose of creating a commercial simulator capable of performing rigorous first principles kinetics and mass and heat transfer calculations for gas treating applications. ProTreat is the product of that endeavor and was first released in 1998. Later on, OGT expanded from strictly gas treating into sulfur recovery and in 2016, with the knowledge and experience from Nate Hatcher, created Sulfur Pro. Keeping with the same spirit of ProTreat, Sulfur Pro is a rigorous first principles kinetics and heat transfer simulation tool for Klaus type sulfur recovery. The developments for these two simulation products were done based on a perceived industry need for accurate and reliable tools to model acid gas treating with amines, gas dehydration with glycols, and sulfur recovery processes predicting the actual plant operations as the feed rate conditions vary. The software is easy to use and is very robust. ProTreat is the first simulation tool to be offered by OGT and has a rich history rooted in rate-based research and development by Dr. Weiland and others. ProTreat, RateFrac, and RateSet are all tools based on the PhD work from Dr. Weiland. The NSF DAO mainframe model is based on work from Dr. Taylor and Dr. Weiland, and RateFrac is based on work from Dr. Taylor, Dr. Weiland, and Dr. Siva Subramanian, which WinSim purchased the rights of. ProTreat and SulfurPro have a wide range of applicability in the realm of gas treating and sulfur recovery being able to simulate most, if not all, of the major units from the bulk acid gas removal unit through to the atmosphere. This year, OGT developed a property package plug that allows the thermodynamic properties to be used from ProTreat within another Cape Open compliant thermo socket. This follows the Cape Open 1.1 standards. OGT has also implemented a custom data storage feature for material streams that allows for storage and retrieval of non-standard data. An example of this would be the electrolytic speciation data that is calculated and used in the OGT gas treating thermodynamic property package. ProTreat is currently the only PMC to have this feature implemented and has been successfully tested within COCO. We will now transition over to show a few examples of the Cape Open property package feature. This is the ProTreat property package editor. The first thing we need to do is give it a specific name. Next, we can give it a short description. These will help with easier identification within another Cape Open simulator. Now, we need to add all of the components that we want attached to this specific property package. To do this, we can either search, as we are doing now, and then add them over to the selected components list, or you can simply scroll down and select whichever components you want to use. The default thermodynamic model is OGT gas treating. This is specific to aqueous based models, such as amine or caustic. However, there are other models for physical solvents, hybrid solvents, as well as sulfur. If the specific simulation you are creating is not OGT gas treating, you will need to select the specific thermodynamic model from the drop down on the bottom left hand side. Once all the components are added, the completed property package can be viewed here. The first thing we do is add the ProTreat property package from the list of available Cape Open property packages. This will use all of the thermodynamic properties directly from ProTreat. We can verify that this is the correct property package by viewing the components list. We can also change this package from within Unisim here. So if you wanted to add different components, you could do that. Now that we have done the property package, we enter the Unisim simulation environment. First, we are going to select an existing flow sheet. Here, we're going to select 
this flow sheet and copy the blocks into our other simulation environment. Once all of the blocks have been pasted, we now need to delete both the regenerator and the absorber from this flow sheet. These are going to be replaced with cape open objects and we'll use Protreat. We also need to make sure that we are deleting any unused property packages. Again, if we wanted to change the specific property package, we could do that here. Now we are going to enter the simulation environment. When we first enter, the simulation is in holding mode. This means that even if it has inputs to do so, it will not solve. So we need to switch that so that when it has inputs, it will solve. Now we are going to add cape open objects in place of both the absorber and the regenerator. Once we have placed these on the flow sheet, we need to select Protreat from the list of available cape open unit operations. Once that has been placed, we can now switch over to the Protreat simulation environment. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have all of the components from Unisim in Protreat. This can be easily added here. Once we have done that, we need to place an additional outlet and an additional inlet. We are also going to rename all of the inlets and outlets to make it easier to map later on in the Unisim environment. Once all of the inlets and outlets have been renamed, we can now place an absorber block on the flow sheet, and we need to connect up all of the inlets and outlets to the absorber using material streams. Now that all of the streams have been connected, we can open up the column dialog box and specify the absorber. First, we'll set the pressure using the feed stream. Next, we will need to specify where these streams are connecting into the absorber. And finally, to ensure that we have convergence, we need to give enough iterations to the column. Once that is complete, we can now switch back to the Unisim environment. Back in the Unisim environment, we now need to map all of the inputs and outputs from Protreat into Unisim. Now we are going to place another cape open unit operations block, and once again we will select Protreat from the list of available unit operations. Once that is done, we can open up Protreat. Once again, we need to add all of the components from Unisim into this Protreat simulation. Because this is a regenerator, we only need to add one more outlet. And again, we are going to rename the inlets and outlets to make it easier to map later on in Unisim. Again, we are going to place a column block on the flow sheet. However, this time we first need to open up the dialog and select the condenser and the reboiler so that we can connect the streams. Now that that has been specified, the streams can be connected for both the inlet and the outlet to the column. Again, opening up the dialog box, we need to specify first the pressure, and we're going to set this from the feed stream. This is a regenerator, so the condenser and the reboiler both need to be specified.
Again, we need to connect up the stream to where we want it within the column. And we will give the simulation more iterations for this column to ensure convergence. Once that is done, we can switch back to the Unisim environment. Here, once again, we will map the inputs and outputs from Protreat into Unisim. Now that that has all been done, the simulation has all of the inputs needed to fully complete the simulation. It will do so by iterating back and forth between the absorber and the regenerator several times. This can take a few minutes depending on the complexity of the simulation. The blocks that are outlined in yellow are unsolved, whereas the blocks that are not are solved. The streams also show the dark blue as being solved and the light blue as being unsolved. Once all of the blocks are solved, the simulation is complete. We first start with a ProTreat simulation, and we want to do a detailed sizing on the Lean Rich Exchanger. So the first thing we need to do is export the existing components and thermodynamic model as a CAPE open property package. This will be used in the next step within HDRI. Now within HDRI, we need to select a new shell and tube exchanger case. The hot stream, which is the linamine, is assigned to the shell side. Both sides are named, so the hot fluid is lean and the cold fluid is rich. The phase is set for both sides, and the flow rate is set for both sides. The next thing is to set the inlet temperature for both the hot fluid and the cold fluid. In this case, however, only the cold fluid is going to receive an outlet temperature specification. This is because the outlet or the hot fluid is going to be calculated. Next, we need to give detailed properties for both the hot and the cold fluids. The first thing is to select the property package. This is the Cape Open property package that was created in the previous step. Now we need to give the components specific quantities. Next, over on the cold side, we're going to again select the Cape Open property package from ProTreat. and give each of the components a specific quantity. Now we need to give the exchanger a little bit more detail. First, the tube count is set to 200, and then the baffles will be set to 12 inch spacing. Now that we have everything specified, we can run the case and get some results. Once the case is complete, you will be given a full output summary, and on the left hand side, you can look at specific items that you want to monitor. OGT has implemented new Cape Open 1.1 compliant capabilities that include a new thermodynamic property package plug. This allows the thermodynamic model and properties to be used directly from ProTreat in any other Cape Open Thermo socket. We've also included a custom data storage feature that allows for non-standard data storage and retrieval. The two demonstrations shown here were connecting ProTreat thermodynamic properties with Unisim to model an amine plant, as well as performing heat exchanger calculations through HDRI. However, ProTreat can connect with any other Cape Open compliant thermodynamic socket. If you have any questions, please contact us by sending an email to info at OGTRT.com or by calling the office at 512-312-9424. Thank you.